All right, so um, we'll start just if you can introduce yourself by name and as the owner okay. of the Clown Motel. Right. My name is Bob Perchetti. I'm the owner of the Clown Motel. Uh, I was born in Tonopah on July 21st, 1938. I retired from the state in 1994 and I took over the Clown in 1995. So I'm coming on my 23rd year as, at the Clown Motel. This is a mining uh, community. It's been since 1900. They found the uh, rich silver strike. Uh, they produce the second biggest silver producer in the state of Nevada, next to Virginia City. The people that built the Clown Motel, Leroy and Leona David, their father was buried in the old cemetery, uh, Clarence David. They had this piece of property, and Leroy had a clown collection in his house. So since day one, uh, they have decided to make this the Clown Motel. Leroy asked me if I wanted to buy the motel and, and I said, yeah, I says, I'm, I've never had a problem with, with clowns. No, I have no problem with it now. I'll be glad to take it over and I hope to build a collection up, which I've done. I've taken it from about 150 clowns up to over 600 clowns. Ever since the, I took the motel over, I've gone to yard sales and estate sales, and uh, I've been even out of town. I've gone to and picked up clowns. We have clowns that have been sent to us from all over the world. Sometimes people call me and they have a collection for sale, and if it's not too much, I'll buy it. So it's it's kind of unique, and uh, so we have clowns from everywhere. Yeah, and they're all over the place. We've had a few people. I've actually taken registration cards out there and have them fill them out outside because they had so much anxiety in here at the motel. <laughs> inside the office here that they couldn't handle it. Oh, so wow. I've, I've gone in, I put uh, towels over the clown pictures on, in rooms because they said we can't, if you'll take them down or put something over them, I can't yeah. have a clown looking at me. So that's happened, but <laughs> that's a very, very small number of people did that. What's your whole stance just like on the paranormal in general? Well, it's so different because we have a cemetery right next to us. We've actually had stories. We've had a couple of guys. One guy said that this guy was in front of his room, standing in front of his bed when he woke up, and had a big smile on his face. And he said, "I kind of got the sleep out of my eyes," and he was gone just like that. And I've had people say that uh, the curtains have been opened a little bit, and there's been a clown looking through the through the window at them, through the curtains, and oh, wow. things like that. But I've never really had any anybody that said that, that anything weird that happened, any of those things. Hopefully most of the people that come here aren't coming here out of disrespect to you. They're here because they're fascinated and they're intrigued and they're saddened and they have many emotions when they come here and they just want to experience what life must have been like for a lot of the people that lived here a hundred years ago. It's obvious you have a real respect for this, this whole thing that might exist, you know? Well, I know that it exists. I've had many personal experiences. Ghost Adventures came here and they spent three and a half days here. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
they tried to find uh, ghosts in the motel. They did find some stuff that happened in the cemetery. I'm standing around right here, and I just I felt something pushing on my back really hard to the point where it's painful. And the lady that I was with had a spirit box, and she asked if someone was hurting me. Did you just hurt her right now, she said. And a male's voice said, I did. And I backed up, and when I backed away, it stopped hurting. And I said, wow, it doesn't hurt anymore. And as soon as I walked back to the same spot, it started hurting again. And I said, I'm going to back up again. And he said, keep walking. I thought, you know, that was kind of odd. So I walked back to the same spot again. And for a third time, he pushed hard on my back. And she said, do you not want us here? And he said, leave. And so we apologized and we left for the night. That's pretty intense. It was extremely yeah, intense. I mean. Yeah, we get uh, we we get a lot of a lot of kids. They'll come in holding on their their dad's pant leg or something and looking around looking around him. And uh, I tell them I, I always tell them I said uh, these clowns are all happy clowns. We don't have any any mean clowns. And by the time they leave, they're, they're fine with clowns. They have no problem. I've been here almost going on 23 years. Uh, I just turned 79. I'll be 80 next year. And uh, I've retired once 22 years ago before I took the clown over and I just need to do it again. I have I have three sons, five daughters and 14 grandkids. So I don't get enough time to spend with them. So that's my plan. My plan is just to sell the motel and sit back and enjoy life. be a condition in the in the sale that the motel will always stay the clown motel and I'm going to ask them to improve it every way they can if there's any way they can improve it I'd like to see that happen but I I would just say uh, I hope things happen uh, for the best I hope the motel becomes uh, an uh, international uh, stop mm -hmm. for the stay in Nevada but it, it's already been a big draw for Tonopah Yeah. <laughs>